and I, and I echo his thoughts. Excuse the voice. <laughs> um, I just want to address, uh, bring up again, at the last town council meeting, meeting I had asked about. I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lacey, you need an address. Uh, town Farm Road. You're going to make me talk more? I know, I'm going to try not. <laughs> town Farm Road. Oh. So, so if I jump in front of you, you'll know why I'm going to say this. Oh, this is tough. tough. Um, I had asked a question about the Open Meetings Act, and Oleg, you said you were going to get me a response to that. Yeah, we have one. Um, the open, the uh, as far as public comment. Yeah. The, the yeah. Council. Okay. Um, like I said earlier. It's been long-standing practice of the Borough Town Council and the School Committee not to respond during public comment. Um, however, by law, we can respond during public comment. Okay, so for future reference, um, if we can, I suppose we will respond. Um, if it has something to do with the power plant, I, I, I'd rather not respond for the simple fact that It'd be easier if somebody wanted to talk about a power plant issue to put the item on the agenda, submit it to the clerk, put it on the agenda, everybody knows we're going to have that discussion, and then we're prepared for the discussion. Yeah. So those are the two important things, that anybody wants to be here has to be here, is allowed to be here, or has the you know, chance to be here, and then we're prepared to have the discussion too. Because it gets frustrating, as a lot of you know, when we're not prepared, I mean, we, we don't have all the answers. You want something, you want info, and we can't give it. It's frustrating for us. So we don't want to go there. So for future reference, um, like I said, if we can't respond during public comment, we will. Okay. And uh, if it does have something to do with the power plant, I just ask anybody's welcome to put an item on the agenda. Just be as, you know, as concise as you can. And I'll be happy to put it on. Then we can open it up, and anybody wants to be here can talk about it. I know everybody gets a copy of the agenda. It's you know usually two or three pages, not too big. But we get we get this backup for the agenda. So, you know, so there's a lot of information here that helps us prepare for the items that are here, and that's that's all I want to be able to do. I, I don't I don't want to frustrate anybody. So that's all I'm asking. I think a lot of times what happens is the agenda gets. You have to be put on the agenda by Thursday, and then something will happen in between. Then, so I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not here to hold your feet to the fire and say I, I demand an answer. But I, I sometimes understand. we just want to discuss things. And I that's, know, that's, but, that's, but, like what happened last Wednesday is we stopped to comment or stop to respond, and then the conversation starts to go somewhere. Yeah, it shouldn't go. That's when you and, use your gavel. And then it's hard to pull it back. It's hard, you know. It's hard for me to do it. <laughs> You don't want to hear it, you know, people in this crowd are going to want to hear me pulling something back that we start talking about. So that's the only reason I say that. All right. But you're absolutely correct. And for future reference, we'll be ready. And again, we welcome anybody to put an item on the agenda. Now, for example, our next meeting is two weeks from now, our next regular council meeting. So anybody who want to put something on the agenda has until next Thursday at 4 o'clock to submit that item to the clerk. <coughs> And again, all I ask is to be as precise as possible about what we're going to discuss. Yeah. I just have one other comment um, to the crowd, too. Don't forget the state rally tomorrow night, 3 o'clock, if you need a ride. Um, it's in the bag of the phone numbers. And I'd also like to ask any of the council members, are you, I know you're, you're supposed to be taking a neutral stand in this, but this is not really about the power plant. It's about the bill being introduced. So we're hoping... You all have sat here and told us your hands are tied, and when we want something, Mr. Fox has asked for legislation from our legislators, which they've now given us, so I'm hoping one of you, or all of you, will go and speak on behalf of that. I, I, I gotta, I'd love to. I get out of work at 5, and we have a council meeting tomorrow night. We have a budget meeting with the school department. You're all gonna be there. <laughs> Come on, what are you Yeah, those things are important. I mean, that's that's you know seventy percent of our town budget. We gotta be there. Uh, if I can't make it, it if by nice chance I can get out of work early, I will try to make it because I think it starts at four. Well, the thing is, the the, the bill is um, the hearing starts. The hearing will late. start to probably. Late. Well, when they when they're done, and then and it could go. Believe me, we're gonna have a lot of people there, so it's gonna go on for a while. Okay. So it would be nice to have. A representative from our town council to show up and you know support this bill because you know, it gives us it gives us a voice we've all been asking for yourselves included. So, I agree. All right. And Thank you. If, if we're not there, you know why. Okay. You know, but if I can make it, I promise I'll, I'll get there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Anybody?